Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher again from Reading Town. Let's take a look at today's article. Today's article is one of my favorite topics. It's about sharks. I remember when I was younger, I used to read so many books about sharks because I was scared of them, but at the same time, I thought they were so cool, right? So it says sharks, sensory predators. So let's take a look at what the word means. Sensory means sensing. So we have our five senses. Our five senses are sight, uh, smell, taste, hearing and touch, right? Those are all senses. So sensory predators. Predators are animals that hunt other animals. They eat other animals. So they are animals that hunt that uses their senses. Okay, so sharks are sensory predators. Let's find out more about today's article. Do you like to go swimming? Beware of sharks, right? So it says if you like to go swimming, be careful of these guys. Well, not in a swimming pool, of course, but if you go to the ocean, right, you have to watch out for sharks. Beware of sharks. Beware means be careful, right? Watch out. So watch out for sharks. They live in every ocean of the world and even in some lakes and rivers. There are river sharks, but they're much smaller. Also freshwater, right? Lake sharks as well. Uh, sharks also don't have any bones. That's very interesting, right? So they're very, uh, they can fold and they can move very quickly because they're not heavy because they don't have bones like us. They're skeletons. Skeletons are their bones or their shape what gives them the shape. Uh, their skeletons are made out of cartilage, which is incredibly flexible and durable. So cartilage is not like bone, it's not hard. We can find cartilage in our ears, right? So this is cartilage, also in our nose, we have some cartilage. So their bones, well, they don't have bones, their skeleton, what gives them their shape is made of this soft bone-like thing like a cartilage. Okay? And it's incredibly flexible. Incredible means it's very amazingly or surprisingly. Flexible means it can bend, right? And durable. Durable means it will not break. It will last for a long time. So sharks are not made of bones. You cannot find a single bone in them, but you will find cartilage, like this softer type of uh, bone-like material. And it's very flexible, like, like our ears, right? We can bend our ears. Uh, that's what their skeleton is made of. It says most sharks also have strong senses to find prey. Senses, once again, is like their smell or their sense of feel or hearing or seeing. So they have very strong senses to find prey. So predators are the hunters and prey are the animals that get hunted or eaten, right? So when they find other fish or other food, uh, they use their senses. They have very strong senses. They can smell one drop, a drop of blood, even if it's in 100 liters of water. So I heard that in a, uh, in a swimming pool, like an Olympic-sized swimming pool, they can smell one drop of water, right? So that's how sensitive they are. They can very uh, easily smell it or feel the blood in the water. That's very amazing. Not all sharks are dangerous, right? We know some sharks aren't, but don't go swimming if you have a cut, right? Because if you have a cut on your finger and it's bleeding a little bit from very far away, a shark may be able to sense it or feel it. So this is kind of a scary thing uh, if you like to go into the ocean and swim, uh, but just be careful because they are very sensitive. They have very strong senses. So if you look in this picture, this is a great white, one of the scariest sharks, and they're very sensitive to the smell. So they can smell that fish from very far away and they come looking for food, right? So this is an article that reminds us to beware or be careful the next time you go swimming. Whoa, there's another great white shark uh, looking, swimming around the ocean, sensing for, for blood or some, or some food. So here, let's look at the, the questions from today's article. Let's fill in the blanks together. Sharks live in every something of the world. Is it every land? Is it every country? Every what? We talked about it, every ocean of the world. So in Korea, we're surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, in America, on the West Coast, they're surrounded by the Pacific Ocean, right? And in between, we have the Indian Ocean and other oceans too. So here, we can find sharks in all over the world, in all the oceans of the world. Let's look at the next question. The next question is, cartilage is incredibly something and durable. So we said, right, we can do this. There's cartilage in our ear, we can bend it. And if we can bend it, we said, it's flexible. And we said durable means long-lasting, right? So their skeleton, which is made of the soft cartilage, right? It will be able to help them flex, bend back and forth, and it's very durable. So when you see sharks swimming, right? They kind of have this wagging, bending motion, right? And it's because they're very flexible and the cartilage in their body lets them do that. Okay, so last one. Sharks can something 
a drop of blood out of a million drops of water. So if you have a million drops of water and there's only one drop of blood, they can what? They can smell it, they can see it, not see it, but they can, what's the word that we learned? They can smell it and sense it, right? So they can smell it a drop, right? A drop of water, a drop of blood in a million drops of water. So they're very sensitive. Their uh, sense of smell is very strong. So if you uh, ever look at the nose of a shark, there's all these tiny dots on the nose and the front part of the shark, and that's where they have all their sensors, right? So they can smell and they can uh, feel uh, the animals moving in the water. And that's why they're such great predators or hunters. Let's look at the last part where we have to choose the correct word. It says, sharks don't have many bones, any bones, or barely bones. Barely we mean uh, not, right, hardly any. So we know that sharks don't have many bones or any bones would be the right choice. Which one? We know that they don't have bones, so the correct answer would be any. So instead of bones, we said that they have cartilage, right? So they have no bones, but they have all cartilage. Let's look at the second one. Most sharks have strong senses to find prey, a fine prey, or be fine prey. So if you want, if you're trying to do something, then we need the word to, right? So most sharks have a strong sense, right? Or have strong senses to find prey. And we said prey is the fish or the, the, or the animals that get hunted by the predator, which is the shark. So the last question, not all sharks is are or being dangerous but don't go swimming with them so we know that once again the noun is plural there's more than one shark so we know it's not is uh not all sharks being dangerous that sounds kind of funny so not all sharks the correct b verb is are so not all sharks are dangerous but don't go swimming with them so we know that not all sharks bite not all sharks are dangerous but you don't want to take a chance so remember beware because sharks are very sensitive. They have very strong senses and they can smell a drop of, a drop of blood in a huge uh, space, in a huge area filled with water. So uh, sharks, very cool animals, but beware. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye everyone.